My name is Orna Feinstein and welcome to the other side of the forest. I am pleased to announce that this is the first time I am collaborating with a group of dancer, dancers to activate my installation. I have made numerous installations in this uh, gallery and in other locations and this is the first time that I get to collaborate with other people. The group is called Greenhouse Art Collective and it's uh, a group of three dancers, Ty, Andres and Caleb and they will be performing later for us. My work is about the tree and has been so for the past 22 years. I've been creating monoprints, sculptures, paintings, installations, all around the theme of the tree trunk. The objects are inspired by what you see with the naked eye, as well as what you see under the microscope, and also some imaginative patterns. You guys me. Okay. So, I was... In fact, I was looking for dancers to collaborate with since 2012. And since I'm doing these installations every two years, you know, I kind of put it in the back of the line. And then when the, the next installation comes, I think about it again. But this time around, when I created this installation, I thought, wow, that would be fantastic time and perfect installation to have the dance cells more than the other ones that I've done. So I started to contact the dancers and unfortunately they were all busy. I made a call to another group of uh, dance group and Ty answered the phone. <laughs> and I wanted to talk to the choreographer and she said that she was busy and, I, and she said, what can I help you with? And I said, well, I'm looking for dance cells to activate my installation. And she said, well, I'm a choreographer and dancer as well, and I'm available if you would like to collaborate with me, I'm, I'm willing to, to do that. And so we made an appointment and she came on time, on Monday morning, 9 a.m. I showed her the material and I talked to her about the idea and she liked it from the beginning. I think we hit it yeah. well from the beginning. Yeah. I mean, I'm so happy. I mean, I guess it was meant to be. I waited seven years to see her. And, and here we are a day before the big performance. <laughs> I'm super excited. I was excited. Always wanted to work with artists and just coming into the space and see what they have as artists and then how we can kind of join and make it even more, I don't know, deepen it even more and just creating a space where people can see and feel and just be with one with everybody, with movement, adding that extra quality into the art and how it all can just kind of combine. It's just, I really like that. <laughs> Challenge for me because okay. <laughs> all of a sudden I became a director <laughs> and a costume designer and <laughs> multiple uh, jobs that other people do, I had to do all by myself, mm -hmm. and uh, that was a learning experience with me, you know, to work with four other, three other people, and then to make sure that the costume does what it needs to be done, to make sure that the music they choose and the movement that they choose fit my idea for this installation. But I think that it, it will went pretty well, you know, we, we had a few rehearsals, two rehearsals, I listened to the music, I gave them the, my input and they, they listened to what my idea was and they gave their input what their body wants to do in the space and, and we came up with something that pleases everybody and I'm really ha happy about that. Yes, yes, that's good. <laughs> I think that is the challenge too, it's like, okay, does this work? Okay, maybe not this. Okay, we gotta take that. Okay, but I really like this. It's like having to like give up certain things to make sure it like, it just feels right and it's cohesive and like everything flows and nothing is overpowering anything or anything mm -hmm. else that's happening in the space. So mm -hmm. I think that was the part I'm trying to like, okay, make sure everything flows and it's, yeah. So you're in a sense painting in your body. Yeah. Exactly. Like yes, it looks like their movement when you see that. It's like a drawing. 
you know, the body moving like a pencil. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> on a can, on a paper. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, fabulous. Yes. Okay. So, Patty, this been the first time you collaborated with a visual artist? Yes, yes, I think so. So, first time for all of us. <laughs> Yes, we all, I already have several more ideas of collaboration with this specific group mm -hmm. and uh, we'll talk about it <laughs> next week when this is over. Yeah, we need a life. They need to focus on, <laughs> on today rehearsal, dress rehearsal and tomorrow's performances mm -hmm. and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. We have numerous opportunities ahead of us, so I'm pleased about that as well. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. And, uh, You're welcome, okay. thank you. Thanks. Okay. So, for this exhibition, I have uh, new works. I have uh, paintings on canvas, and I have the concrete pieces that are new for these exhibitions. But when I look back at my work and my experiments in the past 22 years, they are actually not so new because I have made uh, similar pieces that I made with the concrete, I made them with plaster and fabric, smaller ones, mm -hmm. but the same idea of the fabric uh, inside the uh, plaster. And for this show, we have the concrete and the paper. So it's, the look was, is similar, but material is different. And what happens is that over the years, I experiment with a lot of materials. My material is my passion. I stay with the same thing for 22 years, as I mentioned, but the materials changes all the time. So um, several years ago, I made those experiments with the plaster and it just wasn't what I was after. There were issues with plaster not so strong and fabric was not cutting well. So I just left it aside and then the ideas ferment in your brain and then a few years later as you come up with the new material, you come across new materials and you say, and you make something and then when I look back I said, wait a minute, that's new but actually the idea was already in my head 10 or 12 years ago. And the same thing with the paintings, they are new but I look back at work that I've done maybe in 2003 and I had drawings that looked very similar mm -hmm. but they were on a small scale and very colorful just like this one but because other material called me I moved on with plexiglass and printmaking and left those alone until the day came the right time so everything is about timing the ideas are brewing and moving and material is coming and going but it takes some combination of uh, material, location, ideas, a state of mind that uh, brings you back to experiment in, from the past that you can re-experiment with new material and come up with better results. Mm -hmm. so, so these are the new uh, series with the dendros paintings and the dendrobeton concrete with paper. Now, these are like strings, but they really refer to your uh, previous work. Um, right. But they're different. They are because, uh, well, they look like string, but actually it depicts the tree ring, the tree rings, right? The growth rings. It looks different because they are thinner. The other uh, prints and even the plexiglass pieces that I am making, still making, the layers of the rings are much wider and this is much thinner and the energy is stronger and it's more colorful mm -hmm. and also these are more organic where the other ones are more geometric so that's why it feels like it's different but my work was always about the organic and the geometric in nature and especially as seen uh, under the microscope so that's why uh, it looks different in the Dendro Beton series where I do the concrete and the thread, again the thread is very thin and looks like strings and threads, right? But they represent the roots mm -hmm. in this uh, series. And the paper roll, that's where the tree rings are. Mm -hmm. So we have combination of the roots and the rings.
So, um, as I mentioned, my work uh, is geometric and organic. And I tend to think and see it that the work that is more geometric is coming from the mind, from the brain. It's about thinking and experimenting like a scientist. And the organic work is more, com is, is more passionate. It's coming from the heart and it's more about feeling and less about thinking. Mm -hmm. and, and it's exactly what you observed. The geometric work is more contemplating, it's more quiet, it's more soft, it's mostly black and white and a touch of color, mm -hmm. where the, the organic work is very colorful and lots of energy, exudes lots of energy. So, so that's the yin-yang of my work again. Mm -hmm. And it all comes from me studying chemistry when I was young. So I have a mind of a scientist and the heart of an artist. So it, it comes back again and again and again. And, and it really shows, if you pay attention, it really shows mm -hmm. these two sides. Well, thank you for taking the time out to talk about your work. And uh, thank we you. can't wait for the show tomorrow evening. Thank you so thank much. You. Okay, as I saw you rehearsing, something occurred to me. Now, I'm a big football fan, mm -hmm. and I saw you, like a center in football, calling out coverage. Uh, you were telling the dancers how you wanted to change the routine in midway while they were in motion. And I had never seen that before, and I thought that was incredible. So is that common in dance? I think so. I think most of sometimes we're in like we're rehearsing something and we just get an idea while we're doing it and in the moment that just oh this feels right. Let's see how this feels. And so I just it's like okay, let's try this because this may change it and make it feel a little um, cohesive. I guess it flows better. And it makes more sense while we're doing it, and it just happens because I feel it while we're doing it. And a lot of this too is improv, so we may feel something that is, that may play with the quality that we're trying to go for better, the movement, I guess, and something may spark and I'm like, okay, this feels right, and so maybe we should try playing with this, and it just happens sometimes in the motion. <laughs> That's just an incredible insight I oh. have never seen. Yeah. So thank you so art. much. No problem. And uh, good luck tomorrow night, and I'll <laughs> see you all then. Probably filming something. <laughs> Thank you.